index laws or for indexes, we, we have looked at any index laws, so we shouldn't need to review them. We're going to look specifically at changing our base to solve our unknowns. So in this situation here, we've got the number 16, which we can represent as 2 to the power of 4 or 4 to the power of 2, depending on what context we want. Um, you're going to get a lot of questions that look something like this when it comes up in your year 12. So make sure that we are aware of what is going on right now. You're not walking out without knowing what to do. What do you think my next line of working will be? 27 equals 3 to the power of x, given what I've just said. Turns 27 times the base of 3. Yep, so I want to turn 27 into something with the base of 3, which is what? 3, okay. three to the power of 3, which means that x equals 3. So at this line here, we can cancel the 3s on both sides. Sweet. So what we're looking for is, can we get this number into a base of 3 of some variety? Happy with that? Change the base. The most complex that these questions will come on tech 3 is something like this. Um, where we've got 9x plus 4 times 3 to the power of x is equal to negative 3. We can probably see it looks a little bit like what? Starts with Q, ends in quadratic. Quadratic is your good yarn. Um, so you've got 9x plus 4 to the... What do I have to do to this 9x? Turn it to a base of 3. Turn it to a base of 3. Are we happy with that justification? 3 to the power of 2. And with our index law, we can then expand that x in, and it becomes 2 times x. Cool? So we've got 3 to the 2x plus 4 times 3 to the x plus 3 equals 0. All I've done is take the 3 over the other side. I like to do this. You don't have to. This is optional, this step. I like to do this because it turns it into a nice, gentle quadratic. So I let 3 to the power of x equal a, which means I've got a squared plus 4a equals 3. What do I do with that? Starts with F. Factorise, very good. So, can we factorise that one for me now? Calculator in a 